Tonight we're getting a rare look into just how prevalent human trafficking is in Raleigh. We checked out the city's incident data report. In January, Raleigh police responded to four reports of human trafficking. That's the most in a single month since March of 2022. And that's just what was reported to police. WRL's data tracker Ali Ingersoll explains a new report documents the problem from the perspective of survivors. Police received a call Saturday just after 5 p.m. It was to Wake Forest Road in Raleigh, a report of human trafficking and involuntary servitude. Less than 24 hours earlier, a similar call from Greensdairy Road. Since 2018, RPD has responded to 71 calls relating to human trafficking data shows. It's unknown how many survivors police have located and identified here in the city as well as around the state and country. More than 450 people who have been exploited participated in this report, though, the largest of its kind. The main takeaway from the National Survivor Study published by the Polaris Project is that survivors are surviving, but not thriving. It's a brutal life. The experiences are extremely brutal. That's Dean Duncan, a research professor at UNC's School of Social Work. He didn't play a part in this research, but has conducted and led his own in the past. He says any sort of trafficking, sex or labor is exploitation. These individuals who are brought into these circumstances may not understand what their rights are. They're being forced into doing things that they would not necessarily do and, and, and some, form of, some form of bondage. The report shows that overwhelmingly survivors struggle financially and emotionally. 43% of people who responded to this survey report making less than $25,000 annually. Other needs include accessing trauma-informed services, building trust, and finding a job. Giving those opportunities are extremely important to in order to allow these individuals to move forward and to live self-sufficient lives on their own. The report shows that while some progress has been made, survivors continue facing barriers long after they leave these situations. For WRL News, Ali Ingersoll, Raleigh.